Hello, Greg Protenik here. Today we're going to talk about how to get rid of fluoride from drinking water. Almost all water contains some natural fluoride. It's a fact that has led to the current practice of fluoridating drinking water supplies. Here's how it happened. Back in the late 1800s, traveling dentist Dr. Frederick McKay discovered areas where the children had very few cavities. It took nearly three decades of research to arrive at the conclusion that the reason certain areas had lower numbers of cavities was the presence of naturally occurring fluoride in the water. It was even discovered that the optimum level was one part per million, or ppm, essentially one pound of fluoride in a million pounds of water. This discovery caused some to think that adding fluoride to get the level to one part per million would be a responsible thing to do. In 1945, Grand Rapids, Michigan became the first city to start adding fluoride to their drinking water. Near the end of 2012, over 67% of the U.S. population were receiving fluoridated drinking water from their tap. While some have hailed water fluoridation as a great public health ach achievement, others are against the practice entirely. Here's a link to an article outlining 50 reasons water should not be fluoridated. Now, that's the link there, but uh, actually the, you can click, on, there's going to be a clickable link below this video. This article gives compelling information why water should not be fluoridated. What if your water is already fluoridated? How can you protect yourself and your family from the negative effects of fluoride? Move to a place where fluoride isn't added to, to the water? That's a little extreme. Buy bottled water? That might work, but the bottled water may also contain fluoride. Plus, it gets kind of expensive. Quit drinking water altogether? That's a bad idea. Here's what you can do. Get a filter that will remove fluoride from your water. You have plenty of options to fit your needs. A pitcher with a built-in filter. You can get a water pitcher with a built-in filter that removes fluoride along with a host of other contaminants like chlorine, chloramines, and heavy metals. A filter for your refrigerator with ice maker and water in the door. Fridges with water and ice dispensers are commonly overlooked as sources of drinking water when it comes to filtration. These filters are easy to install and are made for small plumbing fixtures you will find behind your refrigerator. Countertop or under sink fluoride filters. The filter systems that you place either on the countertop or under the sink are called point of use filtration systems. You would want to put these systems where you use the water for drinking or cooking. Shower head filters. Many people are not only concerned with drinking water that is fluoridated, but also showering in fluoridated water. There is evidence to suggest fluoride can be absorbed through the skin. Whole house water filter systems. When you add it all up, trying to get rid of fluoride in drinking water can get cumbersome, with all the different filters that need to be attended to just to make sure you've gotten rid of it. If it seems to be a bit much and you want maximum protection from fluoride, there is a whole house filter option. Whole house fluoride filters come in a variety of sizes suitable for apartments, houses, and offices. You need to decide for yourself the amount of fluoride exposure you want for you and your family. Lowering that exposure even a little bit can provide peace of mind and better health. If you want more information about drinking water, you can visit www.betterwaterconcepts.com. You can also download the free home water quality report at www.enjoybetterwater.com. Thank you. I hope this has been helpful.